Hello then, folks. Welcome back to Glory Hunt. I hope you had a lovely Christmas, a lovely Boxing Day, and welcome back. Now, I am still, as of recording, the Milan manager, and I've bought four footballers for about £100 million. Folks, how are we doing? So, uh, we've made some choices. We've made some decisions. Today, we play Manchester United in the first and second leg of our Champions League knockout round. And I've bought Makoko. Yeah, I'm not going to lie to you. It's uh, it's happened. Let's, let's take a look at him then. He's as good as you would expect in 2025. Now, there's obvious reasons to not do this. Uh, the, the main one being, leave him at a football club where you can eventually sign him at, when you're a future manager somewhere else when you need to win things. No, I'm going to try and win the Champions League. I was heavily criticised for my, for my summer transfer window. So in the January, I thought, oh, okay, I guess we'll do that then. So Makoko came in, 63 million pounds as you can see wasn't really playing for Dortmund all that much we've brought him in I'm hoping with that 6.1 from his first game which we didn't win um he's gonna do the business he looks pretty good doesn't he yes I think we'll all agree not as good as he can be there's definitely better versions of him and that's something I really like about FM these days is that there are different versions of players depending on your save depending on what their potential ability is and how they're coached at a young age and yeah something football manager have got really right in recent years he's not the only player though that we've brought in welcome Vigna Nato back to Glory Hunter was a major part of the first one. He's not nearly as good this time around. At 24, though, a very cheap option to be a utility man for us in, uh, in attacking areas. So welcome back to him. Um, the reason we managed to, to bring him in, uh, Colombo has gone to Dortmund for £19 million. Uh, it was why we were able to spend so much money. So Colombo's left us. Makoko's come in. It felt like a good trade to me. Not only that, but Damsgaard went as well. And again, it sort of opened up the op option to buy Makoko. We had a very interesting deadline day with four players joining one of which as well was luke shaw now left back fans hi uh you know that we sold tio Hernandez and we didn't really bring the left back of the caliber of tio Hernandez, and this was probably one of our best bets yes he's 29 i'm it, i'll put it this way viewers you've seen the title of the video either i beat manchester united today or i resign do i now now do i because that's th that something we should probably talk about there's a reason there's a question mark at the end of it because the reality is here and i'll sort of leave this to you i won't play on until i've read through the comment section today if i if i am to lose this is obviously all hypothetical at this point before i even play the games against united um am i better off staying in this league trying to win Serie A and adding that to my list of honours to then give myself a higher stature in the world game. See? Pro Glory Hunt is a problem, but a very fun problem at that. So Luke Shaw's joined. Uh, and then finally, uh, Falco Jimenez comes in on loan from uh, from Juve, just a backup defender. I felt like I needed one, so we got one. I let Barrett leave, and we needed a new backup defender. So that's that's basically the, the long and short of it. Uh, not a good signing, it turns out. So for those that criticised that signing, two points. You were, you were right, too, because that, that was bad. Well, I say bad, it was a good back up it just wasn't really needed now since we last met we've played a host of games um but again we, we lost to lazio and we've been knocked out of the the quarter final of the cup which is obviously not ideal uh makoko played his first game for us and we as i say we lost to lazio now i am an idiot uh Jorginho and Aldum scored an 89th minute winner against fiorentina um three days ago and did i rest the boys before this Manchester united game no, no, I did not. So as we go into this, there is uh, there is some tiredness to proceedings. Rafinha's injured already as things stand. Luke Shaw, not even fit to play this first game. So Alex Tellis is going to play. We've basically signed both Manchester United right, uh, left backs, I realise. Uh, Fakir's injured, Sesko's injured, Pellegrini, Thorban and Jimenez couldn't be registered for the Champions League. And we've got suspensions to Singo and Kessie. Uh, so we, we basically played them last game because it didn't really matter. Our team then... Still isn't that bad for a first leg. Of course, our second leg against United is a while away. I'm going to play these three games in between uh, the first game and the second game so we can play both today. Again, we want a conclusion to the Manchester United situation. From now on, the, the Champions League is very much our focus and I will bring you every single leg of that or every single stage of that if we are to progress in a video by itself, if that makes sense. So, quarter final episode, so final episode. You get, you get the gist. Um, so, this is the team for the game. Bishlow's going to be in goal. Kalulu... 
uh, Kulabali, Zuma, and Telus at the back. It's not a bad back line. It's just not a fantastic back line. And, and it should be said as well, United have their injuries at the back too. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Tenali and SMS next to each other. Love that. Vignato one side, Bailey the other. Volovic next to Makoko. As uh, yeah, I mentioned before, Sesko injured at the moment and out for two to three days. We'll be back for a return fixture, as would Singo, as would Kessie. Rafina will hopefully be back, to, be back to full fitness, as will Luke Shaw, as I will actually try and manage the idea of having fresh players for those games. I know, a modern thought. Uh, speaking of Manchester United, though, or Manchester UFC, as they're more famously known now, Fafana suspended for this first game. Uh, Sergio Dest has got a little bit of an injury, so he can't play. And Varane is also unavailable. So Twanzebe will probably play alongside Harry Maguire in a... I mean, Twanzebe's not that good. Physically very good, but technically, like things like heading of 12, I, I stay away from massively when I'm playing myself. Um, their bench, though, pretty strong. The likes of Asensio, Pogba, uh, and, and Adiemi, of course, who we sold to them i say sold to them they stole from me because of his release fee uh he's had not an, not an amazing season this year but last year he signed and was pretty good in the second half of the year right let's waste no more time there's all your information i don't think i've missed anything uh job wise nothing's available so that's why we're still here but when you get to march sometimes sackings happen the one team that is potentially an option for us coming up Atletico Madrid, insecure. Conte's got them in sixth. If they go out of the Champions League as well, even better. Right, let's get into this first leg then against United. Of course, the Champions League is still something that needs to be knocked off the Champions League, or the, or the, sorry, the Glory Hunter list of trophies. So, of course, we're going to try and make that happen this season. This is why, arguably, we didn't leave. We've got six subs. This is arguably why we didn't leave, because we knew we may well one day have the opportunity to fight for the Champions League, even though, as you kind of know by now, personally, I don't think we're good enough. Hopefully they're not listening to me. That's not part of the team talk. That's not part of the team talk. So here we go then. United in there. Uh, I'm going to call it... Why is one of them wearing the training kit? Is he wearing the training kit in the game? What is going... There's, there's no way he's, he's on the pitch in his training kit. As there, There's their side then. Rashford on the left. Calvert Lewin through the middle. Adiemi starts on the right as well. Probably is an inside forward. Bruno Fernandes and Suchek in the middle. As mentioned, Maguire and Twinzebe at the back. Of course, this is a game we would love to win. The away leg, away at Old Trafford. I think the, the important thing for us is to stay in this game. As Harry Maguire, who again, not the quickest on the team, has got a, a very early yellow card but it's a corner to be played in front post there's Maguire I don't know if Bishlow got that but it's skimmed to the top of the crossbar and I think it went behind for a goal kick early stages here United the more dominant as Bruno puts another ball in and Maguire heads towards goal again he's getting chances right now Koulibaly's in there as is Zuma so I'm not, I shouldn't be too concerned by this what does concern me is we've had very few shots we had a couple just there as we get towards half time, there's going to be a highlight. A little bit of possession for the boys, maybe, as Suchek and SMS meet for the first time uh, in visual form as Calvert Lewin goes close. Blimey, United definitely had the best of the first half. We've not really been in this at all by the looks of things. And next year of 0.4 is not that strong. Performance wise, as well, the average rating not that good either. Of course, this is not our regular 11. And looking at this, we are exhausted. Now, I have been playing uh, the main man, Genie Wijnaldum out on the left on occasion. So Vignato's going to come off. The fresh legs of Wijnaldum are going to come on on the on the left wing. SMS and Sonali are kind of fine fitness-wise, so we don't need to make a change in there. Luke Shaw, maybe for Teles to, to come on and play against his former team. Rafinha's got that injury, so we don't want to risk him. Again, our substitutions right now, not great. I'm going to say we owe Manchester United after last time because we played them in the previous season and they dispatched of us. They've got a free kick. Bruno Fernandes, I am not confident. And that part of the goal looks very open as he shifts to his left. He goes for it. Well, it hits the uh, hits the wall. Rashford then chips it across to Harry Maguire, who's on the right wing now, which is, I don't want to say his most natural position. Koulibaly decides to kick him in the back of the legs. They're going to question if it was on the edge of the box or not. I would say it was on the line. I, I think that might indicate it's in the penalty area. We're going to find out. A penalty has been awarded because Koulibaly's an idiot. This is why he's not a starting centre-back and merely a backup. Um, but, of course, we rely on him on days like today. Bruno Fernandes steps up then and fires it through Bishlow. Does he? That seemed odd. I hope it doesn't go through him. I'm putting behind camera on because I need to know whereabouts the ball goes, if that's okay. I mean, it's on his hand. I can't, obviously, we can't quite tell from this angle. Um, 
and that's not helping anything. Uh, we can't tell if that's gone through him or not. It looks a little bit like it's gone through his arm. But we'll we'll trust the game. It's never let me down before, other than those times it has. So has Fernandez got a penalty for Benfica in the 44th? And then Fernandez has got a penalty in the 48th in this game. Very strange. As Pogba's come on as a ball-winning midfielder, now deep line playmaker, and it's another set piece for United. They've had loads of these. Twinzebe, that's what 12 heading gets you. Uh, I noticed that Bailey's having a really knackering time. Rafina again, not really fit to play this, but we might have to bring him on. So Rafina's got this very tight hamstring strain, uh, which he's recovering from. So I don't necessarily even want to risk Rafina, despite the fact he's on the bench. So this is just great, isn't it? And Koulibaly's having a shocker. Quasis is coming on. Luke Shaw's going to come on at the back as well. Is he going to come on at the back or is he going to come on the left wing? Are we going to change things around massively? Bailey's having a shocker. Right, I'm, play I'm playing Luke Shaw at left wing. Or do I play Tellus at left wing? Probably, le probably Tellus, actually. He's a little bit happier there. Very good crossing ability as well as a winger. Ronaldo moves to the right now. As you can see, viewers, we're depleted. What can I tell you? All right, a goal wouldn't go amiss after the ca the chaos of this. Onto that side, the two left backs combining. Luke Shaw against his former team. Volovic is there. And Dean Henderson, the Manchester United goalkeeper, makes the save. 18 minutes to go. We, well, we're we're kind of hanging on a little bit. But again, we're going to be... The thing that gives me confidence is we're going to be at home for the next game and we're going to be all guns blazing. We're going to be full strength for that one as Wijnaldum's ball forwards isn't that good. Harry Maguire gives it straight back to him, though. Wijnaldum into Makoko. I mean, Makoko there. It's all very strange. What is happening? It's a goal. What have I just watched there? Manchester United have absolutely collapsed and Volovic has made it 1-1. I mean, we have to see it again. I've watched it, and it was quite slow, but I'm not entirely sure what's gone on. When Arnon plays it forward, Makoko tries to do Henderson. There's no other way to put it. Henderson then heads it to, well, throws it to the 12 heading, I mentioned that, of Twinzebe, and then Volovic has basically got an open side of the goal to fire the ball into, and he does. It's 1-1, and it's baffling from Manchester United, who I don't really know why they've done any of it but i'm i'm absolutely fine with it we'll go to cautious they've, they've brought on as at the age of 45 which i think is brave rashford to and cuckoo a uh, kunku sorry as the ball out towards sancho is actually pretty good and then he plays it back across to Addy amy and we know how dangerous Addy amy can be pulls it back to rashford bruno fernandez wow is that a block who was that was that zuma zuma makes the most amazing block and puts it behind i told you it was worth the money bruno fernandez seven minutes to go plays in no he doesn't forget corners okay he's on the other side now he plays in the corner front post headed away and the going to pick it up we have to get out to him quickly bruno's in loads of space back across since well it's gone in and kunku with the goal and United take the lead once again. It was all too easy for them. Let's face it, Bruno comes out from the corner and he's in acres of space. No one picks him up. And as I say, it's all a bit easy, to be honest. As the ball's cleared away, you can see Adi Amy there. Slides it to Bruno Fernandes in so much space. And look, we've, we've fallen asleep over here. And there's just this one player. So well, there's two players. Sancho, Rashford, and then Nkunku just has to slide his way in. And there we are. They're, they're leading once again. But I'm kind of happy with the goal. There's a highlight as well straight away. And... It could have been a lot worse, this. They've had a lot of set pieces. Makoko into SMS. Big chance to level things. He has! SMS makes it 2-2. Unbelievable. Well, this is actually going far better than I could have ever predicted. We'll take it. I mean, it's the highlight after the goal. And it's a Christmas miracle, viewers. Tonali into Makoko. And then he just slides it through. SMS the box-to-box -box runner. Sort of sprints through and smashes it past Henderson. Back to 2-2. Okay, we're uncautious. I was trying to slow this down. I mean, it's highlight frenzy right now. Every single time we have a highlight, there is a goal, it seems, right now. As Nkunku, again, such a good player on FM this year. Delo lost one in towards Rashford. Quattas gets it clear. We're not going to steal this, are we? As Gini Wijnaldum brings the ball away. He finds Makoko. Oh, it's one Zebe. 12 heading. I told you he was good. As he plays it through. Sancho's in. And Sancho might be offside. I don't think he was. But I'm very... I'll be delighted to be wrong here. I thought he looked on. He looked level to me. They're going to check the goal. They're asking VAR for clarification. And the goal is awarded. I've got an eye for these things, viewers. He is on. I thought we were about to break. But no, it was complete opposite. And Kunku, it's a brilliant delivery over to Sancho. Just runs off his man. I mean, I've said he's onside quite obviously. And I'm, you know, I'm sure the game's got that right. Hang on a minute. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not, not another one of these. I can't, I can't be doing with it. We'll go to sideline there. So I get this right. Oh, okay. Well, based on that angle, um, I would say he's definitely on. He's played on by Quattas in the centre. I think it was just the other side of that defender, so I was questioning it. But there we are, 3-2. I could do, I mean, I'd love a, an extra goal for us, late doors. But equally, uh, would, would I have taken a 1-0 defeat with the team that we had? 
probably like they've got the, they've got the best 11 in this game will they in the game coming up that's the big question as uh, unlucky boys would have been nice to win but it wasn't to be we now play them in a few weeks ages to go so i've got three Serie A games to play i'll play through those and i'll join you in what will probably be 45 minutes i'll see you soon huge shout out to the pause function on obs which i'll be utilizing well hasn't this just gone absolutely spiffingly welcome back viewers it couldn't, it could, it's gone badly. Drew with Inter, not a disgrace. 4 0 win over Torino. Velovic is, is a god. Then a 3 1 defeat to Salzuelo. I thought I'll play a relatively strong side against Salzuelo because, you know, a decent team wants to beat them. We now find ourselves fourth in the league. The league title looking not great. 10 games to go. Still possible, but not, not good. I'm not happy, viewers. I, I don't know if that's coming across right now. Um, the worst bit of news, though, obviously, is that Rafina and Leon Bailey, that I played in the game because they're our best wingers, our obvious choices to start. Uh, both picked up injuries before the game against United. So that's just great. What's that, sorry? Genie Wijnaldum? Yeah, he picked up one just randomly two days ago, so he can't play either. It now means, viewers, uh, we're in the mud. So that's just great news. So we, we're going to have to play Vignato and Makoko, I think. That, that's our... There are there are only real options. Rafina, I, I think Rafina could probably play a half. Oh, he's playing a half. I mean, him and Bailey could do a half each, maybe. They're out for the exact same amount of time, pretty much. Like a gashed lower leg. At least it's not muscle-based, Bailey's. So you could probably risk that. Whereas a twisted knee for Rafina, that could be quite... Okay, I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Makoko is going to play on this right side. He's going to start the game. And then Bailey's going to play a half. And Rafina's going to play a half on the left-hand side. That's, that's my solution to this ridiculous problem. The rest of the team is full strength. So I can be happy about all that. Bish low in goal then, Singo Quartes, uh, Zuma, Luke Shaw at left back, SMS and Sonali in the centre, Makoko one side, Bailey the other, with Sesko and Volovic up front. Those two guys, they're the key to all of this. It's possible. It's the reason many of you think we can still win the Champions League. Let's see if we can. I've not checked it on United, I've just realised. As uh, Hang on, let's make sure all the subs are selected here. The seven thing is, oh, that's not seven. There has to be seven. I hate the fact they're all different. So I managed to get three players injured for a very minute amount of time that would specifically mean they would miss this game. Uh, Addy, Amy, Rashford, Fernandez, Sanchez, Pope, Benesser, uh, Dest, Maguire, Fafana, Delo, De Gea. So still without uh, Varane. He won't start this one. Suchek not starting. Start the last game. And Kunku not starting. Wan-Bissaka not starting. I mean, Calvert-Lewin. Like, okay, well, interestingly, they don't look at full strength either to me. Look strong, but not necessarily at full strength as there's our boys then. Let's see if we can get this done. Of course, we could have played a diamond. We could have changed shape entirely and used Kessie in some way. But we decided to stick with this. Addy Amy up front then. We know how dangerous he can be. The wide players of Sancho and Rashford, of course, are a problem. And we saw in the first game how dominant they were from set pieces. Now, ordinarily, especially from things like corners, we're dominant from set pieces. So hopefully today we see a little bit more of that. Of course, we're, we're trailing at the moment. 3-2, and the first highlight of the game, two minutes in, is going the way of Manchester United, as Delo on this right side, is, is driving forward, cross comes in. Is that a push? I hate this game. I hate it. A push. What can I do about a push? And why has he pushed him? Why? Who's pushed who? I think Quartes has pushed Rashford. Bruno's going to step up and take it, you would expect. Yeah, Quartes is the man highlighted, so he's the man responsible for all of this. We need Bichlow to do something magical. Can he save it? He can't. We're two behind now. There's no away goals. Do remember that. There's no away goals. So we still only have to win, in theory. We have to win 3 1. But we're, yeah, this is not obviously, this is not a good start. No, sorry, 2 1. Why am I not? The, the maths has escaped me there, viewers. Trying to add extra goals. I mean, if we want to win, we need another one. And Leon Bailey, fitness wise, is struggling. Tonali. Now, can we dominate from set pieces? Ball played in. Volovic, massive. What a big lad. 30th goal of the season. Got four recently against Torino. And now he's bagged against Manchester United. Here we go. Or allegedly Manchester United. Arguably Man UFC, a team unknown. As uh, the 11 minute goal goes in 11 minutes goal not a phrase that people use okay now just one more to level things but much like the last game we played as soon as we do something united strike back straight away bishlow comes in claims keepers he shouts as he claims the ball and hopefully we spread out wide and create the, make this pitch as big as possible you can see united playing quite narrow there all their players tucked in centrally there's these wide areas where we've got to cause problems as leon bailey may be struggling a little bit with his injury good turn from tonali into kurt zuma back to tonali if you can look for the run of sesco of course who was missing in the first leg back for this one though so that you know i feel slightly better about it as the ball's rolled out to Fafana and back to Maguire and it's, it's quite patient stuff 
for Manchester United. We've got to try and press where we can. That's Makoko there. The ball forward is poor, and we win the ball back. And now it's a, a case of where can we find openings? Where can we find chances? Our fullbacks will push on. Quates into Volovic. What a pass from Quates. What a finish from Volovic. And all of a sudden, viewers, back in the lead. 2 1. Come on, the lads. So this, this is what we're talking about now. We're, we're in this. 18 minutes gone, and we are leading. I thought the home game would have a chance. The ball from Quates here, by the way, is out. Oh, no, it, was, sorry, it wasn't Quates. It was SMS. For some reason, I got that completely wrong. Fires it in to Volovic. Chests it down. Brilliant control and a fantastic finish. 2 1. Wherever I go next, he's coming with me. Let me tell you. Tonali on the ball. Whips it in. Volovic is there. That would have been a big goal. Of course, now we're level. Any goal for us feels that much stronger. Puts us in a much better position. But of course, conceding. It's going to feel the exact same in reverse as Sancho into Benesser. Bernardo, uh, Bernardo, Bruno Fernandes finds Delo. And can we get back and defend this? Luke Shaw will be very familiar with these boys on that side. Luke Shaw, can he stop Sancho? Delo in support. Singo clears it away. Are we there? We are. Sesco, referee. Maguire goes straight through the back of him. Delo picks it up. Finds Adi Amy, of course. A former flame of ours in this game. Delo, right side. Finds Sancho once again. Gets it back to Delo. We've got to try and clear this. We've got to stop the cross as it's played in. Bishlo, it's, oh, it's everywhere. Bishlo keeps it out i don't know how it's not gone in it remains 2-1 half an hour gone <sighs> i'm gonna praise the boys 36 minutes gone and so far so good some big chances have gone the way of manchester united we play a very open game it might be a risk to play this open and it's the team of such quality as united but again if we can score another goal maybe a couple we've got a big chance as the low fires the ball wide and it's still 4-4 on aggregate right now we're going to extra time we're going to penalties and our fitness actually is pretty good compared to the first game it's not bad at all but you can see there leon bailey 6.6 .6. i don't know if there's a case for bailey with that injury to get him off i think the thing is we're going to the dressing room here we'll tell them um delight with the performance so far i really am delighted with the performance so far the question is okay it's not affecting him apparently but i think we take him off anyway i think we get rafina on he's a, he's a problem he's a danger let's get him on the pitch he always seems to perform slightly better for me as well compared to uh to bailey so let's get him on and let's just see united will feel like they need a goal Maguire, 6.4 yellow cards might be something to try and exploit as uh, again do i demand more from these boys have they got more to give that's the question it's technically a draw right now i mean 4-4 on aggregate we can probably get away with some encouragement as well as makoko i'm noticing there on a 6.3 now ordinarily i wouldn't do this but rafina really good as the inside forward makoko not so good <laughs> it turns out on that side i was going to change it up but you can only really play on the right yeah by the looks of things it's not ideal this is where if we had Addy amy things would get easier for us i guess we're going to make makoko a winger instead i think I'm, he's right footed is he not if i'm not mistaken Very, he's left footed i always thought makoko was left, okay well in which case we'll change him from the inside forward to inverted winger i always thought makoko was right footed well, I don't know. I don't know where I've got that from, but I I was apparently very wrong. Twenty minutes to go. We'll change his roll up ever so slightly. Then see if that can impact his performance. As Singo's cross in to De Gea is easily dealt with. Thirteen minutes left to go. This is on a knife's edge. Azuma big header one. Sesco finds Makoko left foot delivery towards Rafina doesn't quite get there. It's a pretty good ball in all honesty as it goes all the way down. Zuma will head it back. Tonali into Volovic. Lovely link up play from him. Rafina now. Referee. Volovic drives forward. He's not going to score from there. He's going to score from there. Volovic scores. This 3-1. Milan 3. Manchester United 1. It's a 5-4 now and we are in control of this game. Resign today? Why would we? How Volovic just pulled this off. How it's not been saved I will never know. The challenge on Rafina and there's Volovic on the edge of the box the goalkeeping is a bit is that De Gea it's abysmal goalkeeping it's so bad all right let's praise these boys let's tell them how well how well they're doing as I mean there's a temptation to bring everything back a little bit but I don't want to I don't want I don't want the game to just slip away from me we can maybe bring Wijnaldum on for Makoko and play him sort of as just a wide playmaker or a wide midfielder probably just a wing of support it's a little bit more defensive we've still got the attacking threat on the left hand side of Rafina and Tanali's got a free kick well this would really settle it oh why not shoot from distance after what we've seen from De Gea again there was a reputation with De Gea years ago that he wasn't good at stopping long range efforts well Volovic listened to whoever said that and gave it his best shot as Bujlo is going to pick that up easily as it deflects into his hands 
And now it's a case of can we get that final goal? Can we get the final nail in the Manchester United shaped coffin? I hope so, as we've got Zuma on it. Let's see. Can we get one more goal? Of course, conceding would be a disaster. There's Rafina. Launches a ball towards Sesco. Will he win the knockdown? Just about. But Pogba plays it back to De Gea. And this game does continue. And this highlight does continue. And United will probably feel that there's one or maybe two big chances left for them in this game. They keep the ball very nicely. As Pelaqueta searching ball out to Calvert Lewin, who's on the right. And Kunku's find his way forward. He's trying to chip it. Kurt Zuma is the best defender since Tamori. My God, how has he done that? We're still unbalanced. I mean, they're not finished yet. We're diving in on challenges. We're making blocks. We're playing brilliantly, it must be said. We're going to go slightly more cautious. I don't want to invite the pressure on, but I do want us to be safe with the ball. I want us to consider and think about what we're doing. And let's see, have we got the muscle to do so? Ball played in. Singo clears it away. And now Wijnaldum, fresh on the pitch. Finds the ball towards Sesco, who's going to run at Maguire, you'd think. But players in the middle as well. Options for him if he needs them. Sesco, he wins himself a corner. And let's just settle things down. Let's go to the tactics. Let's waste as much time as possible in these final five minutes. And let's progress in this Champions League. And maybe, is this the route to winning it? Who knows? The time then is ticking away. Again, I'm going to praise the boys in the final few minutes. There's 90 seconds left to go. Maybe, just maybe, it's not over yet. Kurt Zuma, Bishlow, Quates, be considered. Keep the ball. Don't do anything rash. Run down the line if we need to. Singo, please keep it alive. Wijnaldum, ball over the top. Volovic isn't quite there. Benas has got acres of space. United throwing players forward. Luke Shaw with a little questionable pass, but it came off. Volovic, if he can find Sesko or Rafina now, running forward with his injury. It might not matter. Can he get a ball across? He can. We're there! It's being played in by Benjamin Sesko, and it's 4-1, and we've done it in Milan. We've I, I knew we would. I knew we'd score goals, but I thought United that advantage was a worry. Volovic in Serafina. It just sort of hit Sesko. I thought it was an own goal originally. As it's fired across. Benjamin Sesko's there. It just hits his knee as he as he pulls the sock up. Unbelievable. It's 4-1. And we're a machine. We are a machine. And at full time then, Milan go on to the next round. United have been knocked out of the Champions League. And the, and, and the more sides we can disrupt by ruining their Champions League campaigns, the better, viewers. And United are the first to fall then. As uh, there we go. Lovely stuff. This could be on. This could be on. The question is, when is the draw for the next round? And is it this Friday? Because if it is, I want to see it. Okay, the Champions League draw, I've just seen it. See. <laughs> Sorry, am I reading that right? <laughs> Gareth Southgate has come to win some Milan. Mancini was the favourite, but Gareth, big Gareth, has gone, I'll have it. Give it to me. Let me take over. Give me the control. Oh, well, fair enough, Gareth. I didn't realise you were a man that I was like, too afraid of in the job security stakes. Uh, interestingly, on this as well, uh, Atletico Madrid have fallen away by Leverkusen and Marseille both 13 in their respective divisions the Bundesliga and Liga. and of course we're probably at a point now we're waiting till the end of the season will be the optimal move I said before if we lost would you resign well not a problem we go on to the next leg I'll join you for it whoever it is we'll talk through it and I look forward to it I've got some games with, with Norway in between and all sorts as well so I'll see you for the next couple as we carry on our Champions League adventure before we get there of course we're not going to do the draw today because it's in the future but I do want to see who's left in at the uh, at the first round knockout stage a few of the teams haven't played their games yet as well Valencia go through Arsenal go through two teams I managed in a previous life um, Atletico Madrid losing to City Dortmund Zebra but uh, Barca lead heavily over Chelsea. Celtic have been knocked out by Real Madrid and Bayern PSG. So, some big boys left in, some favourable draws too. And I can't wait. I'll see you again soon. If you enjoyed the video, of course, leave a like. Make sure you subscribed, and I'll see you again. Whew. Let's all have a lie down. Merry Christmas!